Hello, my name is Warren Beard. I'm one of the four equine surgeons here at K-State, and this is a tour of our equine performance testing center. This is the area where we would bring our horses in to begin our workup, where we would do our initial physical exam, take our history, and do hoof testers and uh, general observation of the horse before we proceed out to our arena where we would observe the horses in uh, motion. Here we have a straightaway where we do our, begin our examination, watching the horses walk and trot in a straight line. And then we can do our flexion test to uh, exacerbate any lamenesses that we see. And then we can lunge the horses on both soft ground and on firm ground to uh, appreciate the lameness better. And we also have the ability to ride horses on this surface uh, for observation of lameness under saddle or if we wish to use dynamic endoscopy. After we determine which leg or legs are lame, then we would return back into our general exam area. And this is where we would do our nerve blocks. So we would perform our nerve blocks to isolate the lameness. And once we isolate the lameness, we would proceed over to this next section of the testing center where we could do both our x-rays and or ultrasound if needed. And as we take the x-rays, they're uh, displayed on the viewer that we see up here in the corner so that we can determine that our x-rays are of adequate quality. We also have three stalls here where we can house multiple horses so that we can block one horse. And while we wait the 10 minutes for that block to take effect, we can take another horse out and start our lameness examination on that horse. So we can be, have three horses going at one time with just with our stalls here. After we have gotten our either x-ray or ultrasound images, we would bring the client into our consultation room where we would, we would be able to display the images up on our screens. And then we also have a variety of anatomic models that we can help to use to demonstrate to the client the lesions to improve their understanding of the lesions. And if corrective shoeing is part of the treatment for that horse, we have an area for our farriers to work. There are a number of farriers that utilize this facility. Uh, they're able to back their trucks up uh, to this open doors and when the horse is in cross ties, perform whatever corrective shoeing is necessary for the, that particular horse.